What I'll try to do in this um, tutorial is teach you how to um, export from DAS Studio into Octane Render. Um, now what I've done here is um, I've uh, loaded my latest um, uh, character, Marsh Monster, just through the presets. Next things that we want to do is export. Okay, so I'll just create a new directory, so Swampy and we'll just call in Swampy again. Make sure it's an OBJ and in the settings of the OBJ use these as your um, export settings. main one you want to click is collect maps because it's it just saves a lot of time when importing into Octane Render it knows where to find all the maps and it's relative to the OBJ so just click accept Next, we'll just um, we'll exit out of DAS and um, boot up uh, Octane Render and bring it into that. This is version um, 1.5 of Octane Render. Now, there's two ways you can um, import your object. Uh, just right-click on this screen, and you'll go to Geometry, Mesh. And this is where it'll ask you to, and you just basically click on um, where you save that file. But I found the easiest way is just through your Windows Explorer, have it opened, and drag and drop straight into here. And that's easily the best method to do. You notice it's loading all the um, the the maps towards it where we saved it. It's all relative. Um, radio. As you can see, it's um, brought everything in in great, but there are a few little things you're going to have to um, tweak to try and get the um, the textures right. Now one of them is the, the vines. You can see the vines here have just not... Um, everything comes in with a scaling of one to one textures. So, But I have tileable textures on the vines so they didn't come in um, with with that, so um, open up in your scene window over here. Open up your swampy object, and we want to look at um, roots. Yes, I think that's it. <clears throat> So what we want to do is um, tile the textures, say, 20 by 20. Now Octane Render, it doesn't do it in by num, it, it doesn't do it in positives, it does it in percentages. So what we're going to have to do, in um, under Transform Values, UV Transforms, we are going to have to type in 0.02. And that should give us, um, as you can see here, that'll give you the proper scaling and sizing for that. So basically that's really all you, you need to do for just a, a simple Octane import. 
the next important thing you should do is save the texture and you'll see um, save the project by default you'll see why later on we'll be using this as a, a texture template for an animation import so basically just go save as I'll save it straight um, where are we I'll save it straight where the um, we saved the OBJ file which is in my Octane render under Swampy and pull in Swampy again now this will save all it'll save the um, the correction on the on the um, UV size on the roots again So um, that ends just the, the simple basic import for it um, and I'll show you a bit more in up and coming tutorials.